Hey, my name is Adala Fricka, and I'm here to talk about what I'm doing these days. Um, I'm a musician, visual artist, um, I don't know, I do all kinds of stuff like pottery and I'm also like a, a Zen Shiatsu therapist, um, like masseuse, and I do Reiki healing and all kinds of stuff. So anyways, um, today I'm going to be talking about my music project. Um, I just got a grant with the Q, uh, Q Grants, which goes through Sketch, which is awesome. It's like so accessible and easy and just comfortable, you know. You can actually talk to, to, to the people that you're applying for the grant instead of like having that, you know, barrier of like you hand in a piece of paper and it's in the stack of a million of them, you know. Um, so yeah, anyways. Uh, I got the Q grant, and what I'm going to be doing with it is I'm creating um, a healing album. But it's not going to be one of those like on my money but my own kind of like healing albums, you know, like um, it's nothing like a meditation CD. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be like dubstep and samba and like really getting your body moving and feeling things. And um, how I'm going to do it is I'm planning to make one half of the album be sounds and how that's going to work is I want each sound to or each each emotion to be felt and moved through so the person will go through stages of working through like imagining somebody's completely numb emotionally right closed heart everything for them to go into the CD and like listen from start to finish will be like a transitional thing moving them through their emotions. The, you, for most people, the easiest uh, emotion to feel is fear. So the first song is going to be fear. The second song is going to be like a counteract for fear, which is coziness, you know? Like, if you're really scared, like, have being comforted is like, heals it, right? Then I'm going to break the person again through sadness. And then the next song is... Uh, is like happiness, I guess. <laughs> like extreme happiness, laughter, like fun and feeling really good. And then it'll be balanced, so like a mix of everything, um, all emotions. And then it'll the cycle will repeat. But for the second cycle, it'll be not just sounds that bring you to those states. The second half of the album will be the actual. Um, it'll it'll have words as well, and. The words are going to be geared towards core truths, and a core truth to me is something that is it's an understanding, like a very um, base understanding that is kind of unmovable. So everyone can kind of be like, yeah, 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 that makes sense, like I agree with that, you know? Um, they'll have their own take on it, obviously, everybody does, everyone sees life through different eyes, right? But I'm trying to find the core issues of, of people's psyche and the human traits because I feel like there are naturally human traits to us which are, are negative and um, it would be, I think it's really beneficial for us if we're all going to try and become enlightened to work through these traits um, and free yourself of those, you know, like ego and and really understanding time and how it exists and um, yeah, <laughs> whatever else may come up. Um, learning to love yourself, like, and like losing personal history, like caring what other people think about you or anything like that. So that's what the rest of this, the album is going to be like. Um, and how that's going to work is I'm going to use uh, this idea that you know, say someone's say someone's biking, right? Um, I want the hook or the chorus to be something that's really easy for people to, to you know, uh, intake, but also something that is like an intention, you know, so they're putting this intention in the universe that they're going to understand this thing, um, be it time or whatever, right? They're, you know, now I know, now is the only moment, you know? Something like that where it's like they're putting this intention like, I already know this or I, I'm knowing this or I'm learning this thing, um, so that one day it, while they're singing it or 
or thinking in their head or whatever, it'll just click. And they'll be like, oh yeah, that's totally from that song or... or and then the, the whole rest of the song is going to be explaining what that is and how to deal with it and like what you do from start to finish when encountering that situation. Um, so it'll be kind of like an instruction manual through song and through feeling your emotions and, and um, hopefully helping people, well the idea is that I want people to be able to move through all their emotions and end up in like full open hearted bliss and like so much but still balanced because you know not hiding any of the emotions just feeling everything um, and then also have all these basic understandings that will help them move through their life in a more positive easy way um, yeah so that's what I'm working on right now uh, I'm kind of in the process of just writing the songs and getting some basic recordings down so that I can know where the structure is and all that stuff and yeah, it's going to be really fun. I'm going to be recording at home here and um, as well at Sketch, at the Sketch Studio. So yeah, I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it when it happens. It'll, I think it's in June or July that we finish. So yeah, anyways, uh, I guess I'll put this stuff up then. Okay, so. Welcome to the Palace of Adela Frick. This is where I create all of my art and music and everything I do. So I'm going to use a, an ocarina that I made when I was in high school in my pottery class because uh, I like the sounds of it. Some of them are off so I'm going to have to probably tweak them a bit but it'll be fun anyways. Oh and I'm going to use this jug. So this program is really cool. There's uh, something that Michael showed me uh, the other day, which is really awesome, where you can make your own keyboard out of sounds that you create. And uh, it also allows you to stretch the note, so if the note isn't perfectly in tune, like probably some of those ocarina sounds, uh, I can stretch it and make it in tune. Like it'll probably sound, usually it'll be shorter or longer or whatever in comparison, but um, sometimes it works, so that's pretty fun. <laughs> 